Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back. This evening is a special edition of Colu TV as we preview this evening's FA Youth Cup action against Maidstone United. We'll have the highlights from the first round match as well as the thoughts from head coach Elliot Ward and players Matt Yates and Frankie Edwards a bit later on. The young youths will be hoping to make it into the third round of the competition here at the JobServe Community Stadium this evening. But first, let's take a look back who you voted for to collect October's Goal of the Month award. Knee play across the face of goal, still not cleared. Edge of the area, Marshall Miranda! What a goal! Marty Marshall Miranda, his first ever senior goal for Colchester United. The pressure was relentless for a good 90 seconds and two minutes. Colchester lead by a goal to nil. What a strike from Marley there, a well-deserved winner of the Goal of the Month competition for October. October, And what a way to get off the mark for your first ever professional career goal. Back to this evening, the under-18s had a good run in the competition last season, getting through to the fourth round and in the third round beating Arsenal. that took them to the fourth round, St James's Park and Newcastle. I went up to the game myself and uh, they put on a good display, a good performance, the lads, and great experience for them in their young careers to be playing at a stadium such as Newcastle and St James's Park. All journeys in the Cup have to start somewhere. Elliot Ward's youngsters made it through the first round this season with a 2-1 victory over New Salamis. So let's take a look at those highlights. Now, I'll admit that footage was a little confusing. <laughs> the camera swapped sides at half time, so it looked like we was kicking the same way in both halves, but I can assure you uh, we wasn't. Uh, and I'm told that a slight technical issue for the second goal, which was late on in the 97th minute by Milton only uh, securing the win, and also goals from Kennedy Mupombu. Uh, so uh, putting us through into the next round, We'll be hoping for similar performances to make it into the third round this evening, but Maidstone will be no pushovers. And that will be Elliot Ward's message as he sends the players out into action this evening. And this is what Elliot had to say. So, first of all, congratulations on making it to the second round of the FA Youth Cup. How did it feel to get that victory against New Salamis, who put up a really good fight? 
yeah, it was really good. It was really important for us to um, uh, to go and win the game. It was a game that we felt that we could uh, really impose ourselves on, and um, we ended up having a lot of the ball. And you know, they were very hard to break down. So uh, we had to be patient with it. We had to stick to what we do. Um, we just felt that if we kept going, you know, a goal would come. Uh, Femme Fit did, and then went, went on to win the game. So, you're coming into this game following a uh, dominant performance in midweek against uh, Oxford United in the professional Premier League Cup. Um, has the success of your tactics in that game reaffirmed that what you're doing on the training ground is working, or have you taken a different approach to this game? Um, I think, obviously, we try and work on the grass a lot to then put it into practice in games. So, it's um, another game that we had to win. Oxford, we had to win by two goals, so the challenge was that. Um, so the boys knew what they were going into, what they had to do, which was really pleasing in the end of how they done it. Um, they had a really, really good mentality to the game. Um, and it's the same again, we approach the games the same. We, we play, to, um, play to our strengths, play the way that we, like I said, practice in, in training. Um, ultimately, it's cut competitions. You know, mm. You have to win, so yeah, it was brilliant to watch because not only the goal scoring but also the control in the game in the last 20 minutes and holding the ball and passing around. I thought that was really um, something that the under 18s have showed a lot, but really on that game, there, I thought it was interesting, exactly that. And, and that was that was pleasing as well. Um, we knew we had, like I said, had to win by two two goals in that game, so the boys knew the challenge, they knew that at certain moments that. Uh, we don't have to chase the game because we, we'd scored three goals in the first half um, and then it was about control, how do we you know, maintain um, possession, how do we see the game out in different ways and um, the game's always different and so you know, I don't expect that to happen in the next round. Well, so moving on to the opponents, Maidstone United, um, they have a decent record away from home. Uh, in the league, losing one game in three. Uh, what do you expect to come up against when we welcome them to the Job Self Community Stadium? I think they're, they're a team that uh, work hard, they're really committed, they, they showed a lot of spirit in the last in the last round where they were losing the game and ended up winning. Um, they went behind twice actually, so yeah, they're, they're going to be really up for the game and probably see it as a game that they can do well in. Um, so it's going to be a challenge for us to make sure that we're, we're just as good as them in terms of um, desire, uh, winning second balls, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I thought we, we expect a tough challenge, uh, but we're more than ready for it. Perfect. And finally, what would it mean for you to make it to the third round, especially considering the calibre of teams that get added in to the uh, pot? Yeah, it's great. It's, um, it's a big one for the players that they look forward to this competition. You know, they want to get to the third round because of that. They want to play against big teams um, and in very good stadiums, and they want to test themselves. So it's something that we're we're looking forward to. Once tomorrow happens, you know, we, we need to go and win the game first. Um, that's the first challenge, and then just wait to yeah, wait and see after that. And, um, but that's what excites the players. That's what motivates them. That's what that's why they want to succeed in this competition. Um, so for them it'd be great, but we're the game to play first and you know, hopefully we'll win it. Some good words of encouragement there from Elliot. Uh, and it's good. We've got the opportunity to get behind these young players in what promises to be a fantastic evening of football here at the JobServe Community Stadium. We've got the thoughts of a couple of players ahead of this evening's game. We'll be hearing from Matt Yates shortly. But first, a few words from Frankie Edwards from the training ground. First of all, congratulations on making it to the second round of the FA Youth Cup. New Salamis gave you a good game uh, and set up well defensively. Uh, how did it feel to get that breakthrough and go on to win the game? You know, at the time it felt like it was impossible to do that because you know, sitting back so much. But I mean, when we got the lit, literally going in the 97th minute, it was buzzing, buzzing for the team. Uh, so, moving forward, how have you been preparing personally and as a team in the lead up to this game? Well, as when we came up against New Salamis, we knew, well, we kind of knew that they were going to do the exact same thing, Mason. So we've kind of been playing in tight areas to try to break through lines in tight areas and stuff like that. So yeah, we've been preparing in that way. Perfect. So I was, was going to say, what, what are you expecting to come up against when you take them on? 
So uh, do you think they'll take the game to you or do you hope it's more of the same they'll sit back and you have to break through? I, I personally think they'll be sitting back and like literally the exact same as New Salamis. I think they'll just go along every time. I don't think they'll start trying to play nothing like that. Just go along and try to get a lucky one goal and then sit in. So it's hard to look forward past the game, uh, but what would it mean for you guys to make it to round three of the competition, considering the calibre of teams to get added into the pod? For me and everything, I mean, e e even winning the first round is it's the big thing, it's one of the biggest tournaments, and obviously cuts we get into for an under 18 squad, so it'll be amazing. Have you got any hopes for the kind of teams you come up against if you made it to round three? Oh, I'd love to travel somewhere up north or anywhere, but to get good big Prem teams, I don't, I don't mind any of them. New Salamis gave you a good game, um, set up well defensively, how did it feel then to get that breakthrough? Oh yeah, no, obviously, it was amazing, buzzing, the team was buzzing the whole way through. Um, yeah, when the goal went in, in the back of the net, it was sort of a big relief for the team because we've been obviously trying to break them down the whole game, but when we finally got that breakthrough, it was just the best feeling in the world. So how have you uh, been preparing personally this game? Personally, we know that they're we know their game plan is probably going to be to sit back, we don't know yet, but if it is, we've been preparing obviously in tight areas, been trying to play out, get the ball out wide, get crosses in, as uh, yeah, the wide areas is where we can hurt the most, I think, and through the middle we've got some good players in there, so hopefully if we can get the ball in the middle and go wide to see what happens, and yeah, just playing in tight areas. So, you expect to come up against the low blocks, you're playing well, tight areas, stuff like that. Yeah. If they do get that first goal, what is your response then? Is it going to be to full guns blazing? Yeah, of course, it's all guns blazing from minute one, to be honest. But obviously, if they get that first goal, we just got to keep our heads up, keep pushing, and make sure we get two more than them. So it's, it's hard to look forward to, uh, past the game, but what would it mean for you guys to go to the round through the competition, considering the calibre of teams that get added into the pot? No, it'll be, the boys will be buzzing. We were buzzing after round one. The, obviously, it's the highest competition you could be in. For an under 18 team, so yeah, no, we'll be buzzing and uh, yeah, we can't wait. Just got to focus on to this round first and then when we win, hopefully when we win, then we'll focus on round three. Any teams you fancy coming up against? <sighs> As, yeah, any really. You just you just want the big teams, show what we can do. I think we're good enough to beat anyone on our day, so hopefully we get, we get a good draw. So a great opportunity for us to get behind our under 18s this evening and hoping they can make it into the third round. First team will be back here in action on Saturday afternoon in North Essex. Doncaster Rovers will be the opponents. Tickets are available on Colu Tickets. So you can come and cheer on the lads. And don't forget, if you can't make it, the game will be on iFollow for just £10 to view in the UK and across the world as the World Cup is uh, soon going to be in progress. All three o'clock games, as well as all the other games, uh, are now available on iFollow until Salford on the 17th of December. So that's about it for this evening. Uh, if you're here, go out and cheer on the lads. I'll be back for pre-match show on Saturday afternoon. So have a great week, whatever you're up to. And it's goodbye for now.